Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm looking at an item from Popov Leather. Uh, this is the Field Notes cover. This is how it comes presented. I'll show it to you in just a second. Uh, it comes with a Field Notes notebook in uh, the cover. I've been using a different notebook. Um, and then some information. Proudly made in Canada and a little bit of information about taking care of the leather and all those sorts of things. Then also with the package just is some basic sort of information about um, about the leather, some of the markings on the leather, and then a thank you from the company. Ryan pop up there, owner and maker at pop up leather. So that's the packaging, that's what you, so you get with it. Let's have a look at the actual item itself and how I've been using it. So now I did a little mail uh, box opening of this before I'd really used it. Now I've been using it for a few weeks and uh, I can give it a little bit of a, a bit more information. So obviously this is field notes size. Here is once again the field notes notebook. Um, it's designed to hold a field notes notebook. It's made of lovely um, leather. Uh, with this beautiful sort of red stitching which is beautifully done and high quality. I had it personalized with my initials which uh, is a really nice feature that they offer and also I had the pen loops added which both feature as a way to hold a pen of course but also as a way of um, securing it closed um, which I'll go into in just a minute. So if we look at the inside of it now um, there is some card slots and a little pocket on the side here which I put a, just a, a sticky note pad in and then the proper cover side there. Now I've been using a Pebble Stationery Co uh, notebook because uh, it's got Tom River paper which is fountain pen friendly um, but as you can see it's the same size as a field notes uh, and the field notes fits in there perfectly. Um, the same red stitching sort of obviously applies all through the item and uh, it's well made and it's, you know, so once again I'll show some of that stitching in sort of closer detail there. Uh, it's really nice. Now obviously this is leather so it is going to age and it is going to develop some marks and this has already. Uh, you can see little scuff marks and all of those sorts of things. That adds to the charm and the personality of this item. One other thing that will happen with the leather is these uh, pen loop uh, slots there will adapt a little bit. So I've been using just a very, very basic pen from um, the Japanese sword Daiso. Um, I didn't want to carry an expensive pen in here because this has been thrown in backpacks and all those sorts of things. So if this pen breaks, it gets lost, I'm not so worried. When I first put it in here, it was a very, very tight uh, fit. And of course, as the leather has um, adapted, it has become a better fit. So this is never going to be a pen slot that can hold a big pen. Um, in fact, it struggles with the Lamy 2000 or anything of that size. Uh, so it's for slim pens. I think ideally it's designed for ballpoint pens and things like the Retro 51 roller ball pens. Um, but, you know, if you've got a small enough fountain pen, something like a Pilot Metropolitan would probably fit quite well. Some of those slim line pens from Lamy, such as the uh, CP1 or the Logo or Faber-Castell Neo Slim, things like that would be absolutely fine. So what do I like and what do I not like about this item? Well, firstly, let's talk about the price. It's 69 US dollars, which to hold a Field Notes notebook, which costs really only a couple of dollars, that's quite the expensive cover. Uh, but what you are getting is a really well-made leather cover made from a beautiful piece of leather uh, and with options for personalization. Now you can choose the color of the stitching. There are different leather color options, um, blacks and tans and a couple of other sort of colors, and you can get it personalized um, for a small fee as well as the pen loops for a small fee. Um, I really like the fact uh, that for $69, you are getting something that is going to last a really, really long time. Um, it's the stitching is not going to come apart. Like it is very, very well done. It's high quality workmanship, uh, and that is important, particularly at a price point where, uh, you know, sixty nine US dollars can get you a notebook cover for a full size notebook. So you are paying 
a premium for a high quality item here. Um, I like the fact that the sleeves are well constructed uh, and are thoughtfully placed as well. Um, a lot sort of have it just coming across halfway uh, in a lot of notebook covers. This has it coming most of the way across so that you actually get a lot of sort of um, sturdy purchase of the notebooks in the cover, uh, which is a nice uh, addition. Uh, and likewise in these sort of business card slots, um, there's enough room to get sort of, I'll use the pop of other business card that I have here, um, easily get those cards in there without sort of any trouble. But once again, because it's leather, they're not gonna go anywhere. It's sort of got a nice sort of a texturing grip to it. There are no real cons to this. Like, yes, the pen loops aren't gonna hold a big pen. Um, Yes, the price point is considerable. You do get scuff marks. You do get little, like these little, um, this, this piece of leather here has edges cut through there. And uh, you can see there that it sort of, you get the imprint of that coming through the cover. But I don't actually mind those sorts of things. These add personality, uh, just like with, I said, the scuff marks and the little like abrasions to the stitching. Um, but it is all done of such a high quality uh, that it's never going to be a problem for this cover. It protects your field notes book. Uh, these books are, just have a card stock cover and most notebooks of this sort of size do. Um, so carrying this in your pocket or in your bag, these get beaten up, these get damaged. Um, the cover provides protection for that. It gives you a chance to hold a couple other things with it, including a pen. Uh, and also what it does uh, is it uh, provides a, a small amount of sort of weather protection. Um, you know, this is not going to be waterproof, of course. It can still sort of get in everywhere. But from basic sort of uh, weather, this is going to uh, be a very handy little cover. So these are available from Pop of Leather, and I think Pop of Leather are, are retailing through a couple of other uh, stores, but definitely through them. Um, and so what I would do is I'd suggest you go and look at their website, check out a few of their items, and check out these covers if the field notes is something that you cut, you do carry. But they also produce a lot of other products. Um, it's not just like notebook covers and things like that. There's um, toiletry makeup bags, pen cases, um, you know, sort of wallet accessories and belts and basically all sort of leather products, particularly sort of smaller leather products, uh, and they do a really, really great job. Uh, so check out Popov Leather, uh, check out the Field Notes notebook cover, like I have shown here, uh, and I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here, or drop me an email which is listed below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or a way you'd like to support the channel uh, by providing an item for review or sponsoring a review, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, Enjoy your pens and your paper and all the associated accessories and I'll talk to you later.